Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 4th of May 2021. Divine Masculines everywhere, please put your energies in my cards and let's get the most accurate reading for yourselves for the 4th of May 2021. Universe, help me channel a message for Divine Masculines for the 4th of May 2021. Let's get the most accurate reading, please, for Divine Masculines. Oh, look at all the kings there. For the 4th of May 2021. What you got here? King of Pentacles, King of Wands, Knight of Cups, Two of Wands. Oh my God, you're planning. You're planning to go see your Divine Feminine. That's what I'm saying. You want to go see the Divine Feminine or Divine Feminine has another king. Oopsie. And maybe you can see that online. Yeah. Or anywhere, not necessarily online. Many, Maybe even physically, but I think they're overseas. They're away from you. And you can see them online, whether they're overseas or not. You can see online that they have someone. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. We'll see which option it is. We'll see. Maybe it's a bit of both. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay, let's see what... Uh, I didn't ask anything. Holding back, no longer running away. But this is... Okay, running back. Maybe running back somewhere. Okay, let's see. Uh, who is the Divine Masculine? This reading is for uh, uh, this one, the fool. Okay, like I said, you might be traveling to, to see your divine feminine. You might be going to her. She may be at a distance, like I said, overseas. On the other side of the globe, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so you may be an Aries also. You may be any fire sign. You may want to, to go back to zero, like go back to square one, as, as they say, you know, with Divine Feminine. A clean slate, I hear. Okay. So, I really think this is about your Divine Feminine, so that's what I'm going to ask now. Who is your Divine Feminine? Oh, no. Should I take all these? She's burdened by something. Responsibilities. Seven of Cups reversed. I don't think she's fantasizing about you anymore. Five of Cups. She's crying over spilled milk. Knight of Pentacles. She's, I think she's waiting for you to come back or something like that. Or she's slowly working on something. Queen of Swords. She's turned her back on you. Okay. Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. Okay. Yeah. So she has anxiety over the ending that happened between the two of you. And she like wants to let it go, like she wants to get over the heartache, she doesn't want to cry for you anymore. Okay, I don't think she wants to talk either, she doesn't want to talk to you. Um, yeah, so she's still she's still crying over spilled milk and I think she's not accepting any, any other love, love offers from others. She's moving very slow out of her, out of her heart. Break. There's something I can't express myself. Eight of Wands reversed. I can't get the words out, okay? So I may, there's no communication here between the two of you. That's what I'm getting. And she turned her back on you. Ace of Cups reversed. The, the love has spilled. Like the cup has spilled. She, maybe she spilled your cup. She, she's been burdened by all the love that she felt for you. And now she's spilling the cup out. She doesn't want this anymore. Okay, okay, so how does she feel about you, though? How does she feel about you, though? We also, we already expressed a lot of feelings here, but let's see, let's just ask, because that's, okay. Six of Pentacles. I would say she, she feels like, well, she feels like she wants an equal give and take with you, but she's only been begging and you haven't given her much, I think. Yeah. She feels like she's been begging you for attention, for anything. And you kind of gave her crumbs, I think. But she wants an equal give and take. Alright, so... 
does she love you actually does she still love you does she still love you because we had the ace of cups reversed there so i don't know and she doesn't fantasize about you anymore she spilled the cup out but let's ask anyway does she still love you does she still love you though oh yeah yeah she feels like you're her soulmate you're her But she's holding back, okay? So she loves you, but she's holding back her feelings. Very, That's very obvious. Nine of Pentacles. She's trying to stand in her power. Nine of Pentacles with a king. Not the king. The queen of swords there. It's, like, it's a di very similar energy. Four of Pentacles is holding back. The Knight of Pentacles is moving very slowly. So actually it's not moving at all it's just standing on the horse okay so yeah this th these are similar these are similar in a way nine of pentacles is like the virgo card it's a uh, earth sign but the queen of swords can also re represent virgo it can represent any air sign but specifically libra and sometimes even virgo so it's it's uh, similar maybe they have both libra and virgo in their chart or something i don't know uh i think this person might have a bit of everything. I don't know. Eight of Swords. Okay, yeah. So they're still thinking about this uh, this painful ending, and they feel like they can't that they're trapped. They can't get away, even though it's ended completely and it's ended very painfully between the two of you. She feels like she can't really get away from this ending, and she's looking at the ending here, and she's looking at her anxiety and all that stuff, nightmares. Maybe she has nightmares too. She feels like she can't express herself, she can't talk to you. Because the Eight of Wands reversed is right underneath you. And these are both Aries cards. So she can't talk to you. She feels like she's maybe you blocked her. Maybe you ju it's just a no communication. It's definitely no communication here. But like I said, they feel the Two of Cups for you. So they still love you. But the Two of Cups is under the Five of Cups. So they're crying over the spilled cups right the spilled three of cups and in the the guy in the five of cups has is looking at three spilled cups but behind them there are two cups the two of cups so the two of cups are still there they're not going anywhere even though the person has turned their back on the two of cups it's still there okay right so yeah we've got that settled ah, okay with the options you see how well they fit like the the card above with the card below fit perfectly uh when it comes to meaning so the seven of cups reversed is like having lots of options right the six of pentacles the person in the six of pentacles has kind of like lots of options because they're giving to different people right so yeah they feel like uh, they don't want to be one of your options anymore that's what exactly yeah they don't want to be one of your options they don't want to be begging for your attention and i've got the king of wands coming out here without asking anything maybe again this is you because you like came out with the fire cards there you running away from them okay so there's no communication because you're the runner right the twin flame runner the king of fire the king of wands the twin flame right masculine so you're running away you're the twin flame runner right exactly and um divine masculine runner okay something flipped oh you see you see you had the king of pentacles and the king of wands coming up at the beginning of the reading they, they flipped over remember okay so that's it um yeah so uh, again with the two kings let's find out if this is a third party or this is another side of you because it could be also another side of you maybe you have earth and fire in your chart or something um or maybe it's you coming back. So you ran before, but now you want a commitment. So before you're like the king of wands, more independent, more uh, wanting freedom, and you ran away. But now you want to come back as the king of pentacles, like someone who wants to be a, to have a family. Someone who wants to be a, oh my god, yeah, exactly, I said that. And the queen of pentacles popped out near the king of pentacles here, right when I was saying that, that he wants a family. And boom, then the queen, the queen came out. Okay, two of pentacles, four of wands. Yeah, exactly. See, they want the four of wands. Or you want. Oh my God, I got confused for a second. This is for divine masculine. So maybe you want the four of wands here. You want to come back. Because maybe you're... Uh, the, the knight of wands is like back and forth. It's traveling again. It's a traveler. Okay. 
So maybe you want to, like I said, you want to travel to them. You want to balance out the situation. Talk about the Two of Cups situation and the Five of Cups situation here. Like the good and the bad and the ugly. And to find a balance between the two of you. You see how interesting. Like the Two of the two of Pentacles for me is very similar in a way to the Four of Wands. Because it's like the Yin Yang. You know, in the Two of Pentacles in the Rider Waite Tarot. We have the infinity loop around those two pentacles. The guy who's juggling the two pentacles, they have a loop around the pentacles. So it's like infinity, like twin flames, like forever together. You see two of pentacles, queen of pentacles, king of pentacles. Like there's always, you're always connected. The two of you are always connected. Okay, the ace popped out. It's like a yes to what I just said, okay? Usually when I have aces popping out without me ask, asking anything right after I said something that's like significant, it's like a confirmation that what I said is true, okay? So, now, uh, will this person, if you offer, you want to offer them something, that's also a thing. You, you're coming as the Knight of Wands, so you're coming from a distance. It's not necessarily that you're a player. I don't think you're coming as a player. I think you're coming as the king of pentacles, you want to balance things out, you want to come into union, but you're coming from a distance, that's why you're coming as the knight of wands here. So, um, you want to offer something stable though, you're looking, the, the knight of wands is looking at this, um, offering this stability, right? So yeah, uh, that's what I'm getting, but let's see how will they receive you. Let's just keep keep the king and queen of pentacles here and see how they will receive you. Yeah, you, you both have the red cards, of course, because I use the same deck, but I want to use two different decks now for each of you. I want you each to have your deck to, to have your say about the situation, right? Yeah. Just a second. Bear with me. This is your deck. And this is their deck, okay? So let's see, how will they receive you if you offer them something? How will the Divine Feminine receive you? How will the Divine Feminine... Ace of Cups reversed, uh-oh. We had the Ace of Cups reversed before, like the, the lo love is gone. Like the love, is, the cup is spilled. Five of Swords reversed, they won't argue with you. King of Swords, but they might cut you off actually. Yeah, they won't argue, they won't have a conflict, they won't have any kind of like, um, yeah, so they won't offer you love, but they won't argue and they won't compete with you or anything like that. They, they, they're just gonna cut you off, that's what I'm getting, oh my god. Okay, but this one flipped over too. That's interesting, why did the four of wands flip over? Because it looks like they're about to cut you off. Like you go to them and they spill your cup and they say that they don't want to argue, they don't want to compete for you anymore, they don't want to have conflicts with you anymore. They want to change, they want to move on. As the King of Swords, the King of Swords is the end, at the end of the spread looking away from everyone. But I don't know what's up, okay. I've got some more things. So Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands. The full and the eight of wands reversed. Oh my god, they want to block you. They don't want to talk to you anymore. They want a new beginning elsewhere. They're making plans maybe to move elsewhere. Yeah, they're slowly... They want to move from where they are too. Even if they're away from you, they want to move even further away or somewhere else. Yeah, I think they want to move away and not speak to you anymore. So it's like they're looking at this possibility. The knight of pentacles is looking at the four of wands here. But they're, ma but they're still making plans to move away from you and to stop talking to you. So, will they stop talking to you? Will they block you or something? Six of Swords, they will move away from you. Yes. Three of Swords, they will break your heart. Oh my God, this is terrible. Wow. And the Ten of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. Oh, so, so, I don't know what you can do now, to be honest. You can just move away from them. You can do the same as them, six of swords, move away. 
Is it over for good? Is this over for good? Knight of Cups. I don't think this will ever be over. Like, um, I think you'll always love each other. Yeah, I think you'll always love each other. Oh my god. So, what can you do if if they if they move away from you like that? What can you do? Is there anything you can do? What can you do? How how should you react to this? What should you do? Well, you you are told to move away too. I don't know what to ask anymore. I'm I'm kind of sad now actually. Uh, I want to ask them more stuff. I want to ask the divine feminine more stuff. Let's take this stuff out of here. <sighs> yeah, I think the divine feminine moved on. To be honest, and she doesn't want she she doesn't want trouble anymore. She sees you as trouble. Like maybe you are like the king of swords towards them, and now they're gonna be like the king of swords towards you. Divine Feminine, tell us. Eight of Cups reversed. She doesn't want you to return, basically, with the Eight of Cups reversed. Because the Eight of Cups is someone who's moving away, right? And if you got it reversed, but, but they're moving away and coming back. Okay? So the Eight of Cups in the upright is like going away to, to like analyze your feelings, to understand yourself better. Going within. And like uh, hermiting away from other people. But when it's in the reverse, like coming back from that. Okay, so what? what okay, Six of Swords. <sighs> Reversed. Okay, she doesn't want to move into calmer waters with you. She doesn't want to talk to you again. She wants something else. She wants to move away. She doesn't want to argue. It's the same cards coming over. She's running from you now. She doesn't want any like blockages in her way. She wants to stand in her power. She doesn't want anything blocking her from standing in her power. The Nine of Pentacles, very similar to the Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So yeah, she feels, okay, no new beginning here for the two of you. It's very clear. It's the same thing reiterated over and over again. Um, so how should you, how should you react to this? What should you tell her? How should you react? to this how what should you tell her you tell her you you want an equal relationship again with the two of pentacles here you want to work together with her maybe even start a business with her you want to uh, you want to talk about the heartbreak you want to have patience you want to work on something to grow slowly together you want to move on you move out you want to move out of the heartbreak and out of the waiting period be very clear on what you want to see from her you know on what on how you want the relationship to progress how you want to find this balance how you want to get out of the heartbreak how you want to get out of this stalemate this stagnancy okay so if you explain to her that all this stuff, how is she going to react after this? How is she going to react? Okay. Okay, Ace of Cups. Okay, the Ace of Cups, this time is in the upright. So she might accept it, Like, but it's like at the beginning. It's like very... Yeah, she, she might accept what you, you're offering in the end. Okay. Right, so if you actually, okay, what else should I ask now? So are you actually going to move into a relationship after this? That's what I want to know. So does Divine Feminine, is Divine Feminine going to accept to, to start like slowly with you, to start something? Will Divine Feminine accept to start working on something with you? Or like, I don't know if have a relationship. She, she will accept that she, she will let the heartbreak go. 
right? She will, she will let the heartbreak go. <sighs> but like, can you be? Will will she accept and to be in a relationship with you? Will she accept to be in a relationship with you? I, I don't think so. I think you maybe you should try to be friends or to work on something. I don't feel like this is something that's going to move quickly into a relationship. Is she going to accept to, to be in a relationship with you? I don't think so. With the, the Knight of Swords is moving away again from everything. Like the King of Swords was moving away from the spread. She's, uh, she might turn her back on you, so you shouldn't even offer her a relationship. I think you should just, like, try to, to, to make good with her. Like, try to... Eight of Swords reverse. She doesn't want to be stuck in her head about this anymore. She, she wants balance. So, Divine Feminine, would you accept a friendship with Divine Masculine? Holding back her feelings, I don't think so. Would you accept to work on something? No. Whoa. This, like, oh. She might get over the heartbreak and she might, like, uh, maybe show some emotion to you with the Ace of Cups. She might cry, actually, with the Ace of Cups in the upright the second time. But I think she will still turn her back on you. I didn't ask anything, but like, look, she, she does love you. I think she's, she may wait for this love to grow, possibly. She may want to wait, like, for you to, ah, okay. She wants to wait until you mature emotionally, until you prove that you're mature emotionally. Or she'll ask you to wait until you mature emotionally. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. I think you might be emotionally mature already, but uh, or you may have matured in the meantime since you last spoke to her or something, but she wants to see it. I think she wants to to, to see that indeed you have matured emotionally. So she wants to wait there and see, waiting for your ships to come in. And this like the king of water, the king of cups. Yeah. She has very deep love for you anyway. And she might cry after this uh, discussion and all that stuff. But she she's um, she's not willing to take you back until you mature emotionally. And she's, she, can, she can say you need to wait until you mature in, before you can have any kind of balance with me and we can get over the heartbreak. Yeah, that, that's what I'm getting, okay? So, what what should you do after this discussion? What should... Uh-oh. Block her off? I don't know. Maybe see things from a higher perspective. Try to see things from a higher perspective. Become more like... Um, more in tune with your spirituality, maybe. Four of Swords, heal. Take a break and heal. Eight of Swords... Seven of Pentacles, again with the Patience here. Three of Swords, heal the heartbreak, okay? <sighs> Try to heal your heartbreak. Try to have patience with yourself. Have patience with yourself in order to see things from a higher perspective. Both of these cards, this card makes me think of a philosopher. This card makes me think of someone who's very spiritual. Someone who can see... He can rise above their own ego because the seven of wands comes after the six of wands which is like a very ego like look at me how great i am card you know look at me look at me give me attention and praise me right so you you're kind of advised to try to look at things from different perspectives from a higher from a more spiritual point of view and understand that you need to do some growth to have patience in order to do some growth. Become more, more spiritual and more philosophical. That's kind of like your advice. Eight of Swords. I don't like the Eight of Swords because that's like uh, self-sabotage. 
maybe you need to take the blindfold off and see what kind of self-sabotaging behaviors you have like how you can heal some like let go of karmic cycles this is like a, being stuck in a karmic cycle so you need to look to to analyze this um, karmic cycle that you're in and to understand why maybe you have certain behaviors oh look at that she has the eight of swords reverse here you have the eight of swords in the upright in the same position so yeah she's trying to get out of uh, she already got out of her karmic cycles and you need to do the same way the same thing okay that's what i'm getting here queen of wands like you need to again this is an aries card again representing you i think this is you again you need to embody like a queen of wands kind of energy uh, queen of wands is like the witch of tarot it's someone who is very spiritual somebody who's very spiritually evolved right so s try to uh like accept your mo more feminine side also because it's a queen right so you need to incorporate kind of like don't always stay in like a masculine energy allow yourself to be in feminine energy when it's needed okay so like to become more patient like the seven of pentacles uh, seeing things from another perspective from a higher point of view from a from a more spiritual point of view rather than a like a earthly like um victorious point of view because like the the seven of wands sees the six of wands underneath and that like rises above their ego you need to rise above your ego right because Aries, if you're an Aries or you have some Aries in your chart, um, Aries is the self, right? So you need to, like the ego, the self, you need to look at, be, see things from your higher self somehow, you know? I don't know. Listen to your higher self, not just your ego, okay? That's what I come, kind of what I'm getting. And accept feminine, the feminine within yourself, the, the feminine energy, because we, we, we all have both feminine and masculine, you know, and we need to allow ourselves to be in both when it's needed, right? Even if you're predominantly in a masculine energy and you're a very masculine man, um, in order for you to ever accept your divine feminine, you need to accept the divine feminine within yourself, right? Because I keep saying that in lots of readings. So clearly that's kind of like your your... You need to go on another journey like you may have gone on a journey to become very abundant and now you are very abundant but you need to kind of like become more spiritually abundant to more spiritually awakened and this person's kind of like wait yeah they want you to be emotionally available to to be in to have a higher like emotional intelligence right to become more in tune with your feelings to understand yourself better so you can better redirect to better control your feelings actually okay we've got these two here again with the waiting you see you both got the uh, three of wands so both of you are waiting like they are you okay so you are in their spread as the king of cups and they're in your spread as the queen of swords okay but you're both going to be waiting for each other. But the thing is, like, there's still more time to go. Like, you can't reunite now because there's still some th things you need to go through. And she, she needs to get out of the Queen of Swords. Or maybe she needs to, to create better boundaries. So you need to become more... Okay, let, let, let me explain what I'm, try what I'm seeing here. The Queen of Swords, okay, she's represented by the air element, which is the most masculine element here. She's a queen on the one hand, but then this is the element of uh, a masculine element. This is a king with a feminine element, the water element. So like I said, both of you need to, to find this balance within yourself. So even if they're feminine, they need to accept their masculinity. Even if you're masculine, you need to accept your masculinity. So both of you need to do this first before you can come into union. Okay, fine. I think that's enough. I think we got it. Right, so you probably will come back at a later date. I don't want to ask how exactly the relationship will be because I've been trying a lot to do this and I don't know if, if it can be that accurate, to be honest, because this is a long way in the future. So I don't know how if I don't think that cards can predict that far in the future because things keep changing, right? Like according to our actions, our karma changes, right? So if you change your action, 
you might get a totally different outcome. So that's the thing. That's why I don't I don't want to go too far in the future right now because I've been doing this and it's um it goes a bit chaotic. And I think I I think this is why because you cannot be accurate that far into the future. So I'm going to stop it here. That's this is your advice for both of you here. So I think that's all for today. I hope this helps. Take care.